Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Cyber. We'll go back to another video. Hope you guys are ready for another absolute banger here on the channel. And a banger it is indeed because we got a brand new freaking update coming up for our light really, really, relatively soon. It's pretty small, but I do want to go ahead and talk about it because it is a lot of things that's in the game that are at least coming to the game that I do want to go ahead and discuss with you guys. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Starting off with the battle pass. Now, do keep in mind, right up here, it does say that the tune-ups, like the uh some of the updates will come uh literally like later on when this video is uploaded it should be um august 22nd probably like 2 a.m 3 a.m where i am which is usa easter time but stuff like the battle pass and the lucky draw that we can go ahead and discuss about later on that's actually gonna be dropping on the 24th so in the battle pass we're gonna go ahead and get a brand new young skin i actually do have a photo of it i'll put it onto my video right now it looks so 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 amazing the black and red color schemes look super beautiful it's just a tough 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 skin 9 out of 10 we also get in a mad rubber skin and we also get in a pilot mecha skin which who cares about the pilot mecha skin we do need a mad rubber skin though and of course we are getting sr items and a loads of diamonds and gold and one other thing that they are going to go ahead and include in this battle pass not only are we getting all the stuff obviously but even if you max it out you'll be able to go ahead and actually continue grinding out the battle pass getting brand new um items well i would think brand new items i think uh, the most you're gonna go ahead and get is like gold or something like that but you will still be able to go ahead and continue on grinding the battle pass once you max out and get the um ssr skin next up we have the brand new lottery event which is gonna include the ak77 skin yes we're getting a brand new you are mind you ak77 skin which is gonna be amazing I think I do have an image I can go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and put it on screen if I do. We're also getting a nice little uh, profile card. We're also getting a trail. And we're also getting a brand new avatar frame as well, too. I mean, who cares about the avatar frame? But that's dope. Cool. We're going to be seeing a return of a brand new lottery wheel. Being a UR Momoni skin, which is going to be called the Venus. A brand new trail. And also a brand new avatar frame. I mean, again, who gives a fuck about avatar frames? But that's besides the point. Brand new lucky draws coming back to back. Plus with the about pass. That's a W. That's a W. Of course, it doesn't end there. We also will be getting a brand new seven day sign in event where you'll be able to go ahead and unlock a ssr amber skin which amber definitely needs a skin um i don't think i have an image of him but i'm gonna be honest the skin is not it's not the best but hey at least yeah amber may get a skin right right yeah <laughs> brand new rank season which i was talking about earlier season 11 is gonna be dropping later on like literally when this video is up it's probably gonna be like four hours later when the update is going to be dropping so do keep that in mind there were brand new features of optimization they talk about the battle pass i already mentioned that you'll be able to go ahead and um grind out brand new tiers uh dance move you'll be able to go ahead and dance in a lobby which i think is cool these two right here i want to talk about the most um rename cards and streamer mode now rename cards if you don't know what that basically is um if you ever play like Call of Duty mobile or any other mobile game they have these rename cards where you have to actually buy to change your name Farlight is now going to a direction to where now you have to actually buy a rename card to go ahead and change your name. It'll give you one free rename card and after you use that, you have to go ahead and buy them. Now, how to buy them? I'm pretty sure you have to go ahead and buy them with diamonds, which, you know, means you have to go ahead and use actual money, which I think is a total L. I like changing my name here and there. But hey, you know, Farlight's looking for new ways to monetize this stuff. And this is a way that I feel as though it's not going to go ahead and affect people too much. Streamer mode, however, um, again, if you ever play Call of Duty Mobile, they actually have a way for you to go ahead and actually change your name to where you could be incognito, going into a lobby and all that stuff. But unlike Call of Duty Mobile, if you go ahead and have streamer mode on, Basically, when you go into a lobby, your name will just be read out as anonymous. Um, the only people that will actually know your actual IGN will actually be your teammate. So, hero powers are going to be added, and I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really know what this is. I think it's something like, you know, how you go ahead and play your character, you get like a little, um, you know, a little badge for your character. I think it's something like that, and then just simply add a leaderboard. I'm not completely sure, so I can't give you guys too much information on this but when the game does drop i'll go ahead and make a community post and talk more about this but sadly right now i don't have the information to go ahead and actually go into depth about this a lot of people don't even understand what this is so i'm sorry about that guys so basically what they're gonna go ahead and do in the future as well too is when you play in the game and you kill someone people will now know that you play on either mobile or pc and vice versa and other features as well too in the chat channels like they will actually add a clan chat as well too now you can talk to people that's actually in your clan they're gonna be adding a highlight mode which i think is really really interesting if you don't know what that means basically now you're able to go ahead and actually toggle on a recording so you don't need an elgato you don't need to go ahead and um, screen share you don't have to go ahead and um, um screen record all that stuff you can now actually record within the game itself and actually get clips from farlight like within the game itself which i think is super cool 
And I think a lot of content creators that do make montages can find a really cool way to go ahead and actually like embed this into their content. I think that's a really cool um way to go about it. And of course, other bugs and fixes that really we don't have to go ahead and talk about. Now we get to the nitty gritty. We got Sienna, we got Duckside, Watchmen. All three of those characters are getting buffed. Sienna, Billy's um is gonna be able to go ahead and heal a lot better. Duckside Shield is gonna be getting an increase in HP. And Watchmen's turn is going to go ahead and get a damage buff. And also the casting range of the ultimate is gonna be increasing well too. Do I think any of these guys are gonna be meta after this buff? No. I think Watchmen is definitely gonna be more of a threat. I think that's gonna be more of a threat. I think Sienna's gonna be played a lot more. But in terms of like comp and competitive, I don't think this is gonna be anything to go ahead and scoff at. MQR is gonna go ahead and get optimized for his tactical, which dink. God, he needs. And of course, for weapons, the only weapons that get changed is the shotgun mechanic and the RPG of being a Rhino. They're gonna be adjusting the um, ammo flight speed of the RPG, so that could be meaning it's gonna go faster or slower. Let's hope the guy is slower. And then the shotgun mechanics, they could go ahead and refine it, go ahead and make it more consistent with the spread and the crosshair alignment. And of course, they're gonna add in brand new settings as well too. I think one setting is really, really nice to go ahead and talk about. They're actually gonna make it to where you can actually toggle enemy outline border so if you don't know in this um, update the past update we had uh they added um, a border around your character so it will pop out red and make it more um make the character stand out a lot more you can actually toggle that off now which i think is cool a lot of people was complaining about that they're gonna approve the footstep sound system so now you can able to go ahead and hear any footstep a lot better while also reducing teammates footstep dubbies a lot more optimization a lot more optimization a lot more optimization and that's really much it guys but yeah like i said not a lot of stuff i mean not a lot of stuff compared to the other update we got previously but still a lot of stuff to go ahead and talk about um you know change wise but let me know you guys thoughts like what's your most excited thing about the update what's your least excited thing about the update i think my most excited thing of course is always about the changes of the heroes i like to go ahead and play different heroes now you know with the uh revamp of mkr i mean i still love playing mkr and i will be testing out the optimization of them but it's definitely gonna be fun to see how duck size sienna and watchman's gonna go ahead and play hopefully those guys get a lot more playing time i think my least favorite thing has to be the rename i don't like that whatsoever but hey i know far like you gotta go ahead and get your back you know what I'm saying? That's fine. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you really did enjoy the video and want to see more of my content, be it updates and gameplay, go ahead and also hit the subscribe button. I literally post daily on this channel. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. This is your boy Cyber signing out. Peace out. I fucking love you guys. Before we end out the video, guys, I do want to let you know that I am sponsored by Sickle Lab. Sickle Lab is an amazing chair company that makes incredible chairs with great lumbar support, patent pending, cold cure foam, an amazing comfortable head pillow, and so much other benefits to really help you stay comfortable while you game. I've been using my Seagull Labs chair for a really long time and I can tell you a Seagull Labs chair and a common chair you can pick up at Walmart and the difference is night and day. If you are in the market for looking for a really comfortable and incredible looking chair, please check the link in my description. Literally you just clicking the link and checking out the chair supports me so much. With that being said, I really hope you guys have a great day. Cyber signing out.